Hi, Libra. Welcome to Illuminated Tarot. Well, we have made it, Libra. We are now in officially. This first reading is going to comprise of our first batch of September Libras. So happy birthday, early birthday to all of you. If you're seeing this message later this month, I hope that you have a beautiful time celebrating with your friends. I'm a September, late September Libra myself, and um, enjoy your solar return, everything that you're wrapping up at this time, perfectly coinciding with eclipse season and a Pisces full moon as we are navigating through Virgo right now, the first half of the eclipse, and then the second half of the eclipse, we're going to be more in Libra season. So ride the wave, y'all. Ride the wave. Let's see what comes up. Let's first get some angel number guidance, okay? And see where we're headed as a Libra collective for the second half of September. Thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Libra today. Whew. Remember that last reading was all about air? I just felt like a deep need to uh, take a breath. So make sure you're doing deep breathing. Pay attention to your breath. Pay attention to air. It's going to help uplift you. I feel like there might be some sudden twists and turns. Faded encounters. Boy, I'm getting already a lot of messages. All right, let's see, Libra. Let's get into your angel number 7777. Perseverance, that is a highly spiritual number. Let's see what else spirit do we have for the Libra Collective. 2424, good times. All right. Good times are ahead, Libra. 1331 and good fortune. Oh, I'm seeing the good, good stuff. Spirit's sending your way, Libra. Second half of September. There's a need for a change of perspective on whatever has taken over you now. If you want to succeed, you need to keep going down the road you're on. Reach for the wisdom within, and then you'll just know what the right next step is. It's a change of perspective, reflection, inner strength, wisdom, and enlightenment. All right. You might want to write these down. I feel like they'll be really helpful. I'm going to do the same as a Libra myself. And really, when I see these numbers, I'm going to remember these messages. I feel like Spirit's giving you a high five for persevering, for whatever you're willing to surrender your your current perspective and maybe adopt a new way of looking at it 24 24 good times you were worthy of affection leisure and pleasure now now that sounds like libra season doesn't it if you tell your family and friends how you feel you'll find that you're all on the same page and can work together effectively many people are rooting for you libra if you spread love it will find its way back to you multiplied good times I love that message. And then 1331, good fortune. Have faith in your skills and talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future. A piece of good advice, a moment of enlightenment, or a comforting message is on its way. Everything will work out in your favor. Wow, those are super positive. I love these messages. Maybe um, pause this, go back, rewind, write it down, and try to really sink into that energy. It's almost like, you know what, take comfort in the changes that are coming in, enjoy your independence and your changing of perspectives. Rest, leisure, pleasure, love, affection, all that good stuff. I love Libra season. We get to really sink into the beauty and the magic. Sorry, I'm shedding. Are we all shedding? I feel like we've been shedding. I just did the, uh, just a little bit ago, the weekly reading. And the weekly messages had a lot to do with the eclipse season and need to continually renew, right? Giving away and renewing, going through this process of purification, decluttering our thought processes, decluttering even our environments, purification. I love this. I knew it. Look at that. He is right in the wave. Look at that. He's almost like he's collecting the manna. The experience of feelings. You know what? We got this in the last reading, Libra. Knight of Cups. Who is this? This feels like someone coming toward you. Male or female, okay? Just because it's this is someone in their masculine energy. It doesn't need to be a man. It's someone who wants to bring you love, Libra. It's the knight. That's what knights do. They are messengers. A message of love could be headed your way. That's the overall general energy. There's something coming. This person has been collecting maybe 
this is a very high romantic vibration, okay? He's got like, or he or she has got like, perhaps romance on their mind. If we see the King of Swords, I think that came up in the last reading. This could be you too, just, you know, I mean, dolphins, we love our, we love our um, aquatic animals. I don't think that dolphin minds this man riding on its back. And dolphin medicine is so playful. It's about following your heart, okay? The rest of September. Follow your heart. Lead with authenticity. Hmm. It feels very playful to me. He's wearing that shell around his heart chakra. It's almost like you, you've mastered some sort of emotional equilibrium here. Where you might be, I feel like you're calling this in. Because you stay true to yourself. I feel like there's some energy coming towards you that's matching you. Because they've, they've, it's, it's like a mag, it's like a, some sort of magnetic. Whether it comes in the form of a person, place, or thing, you're calling a higher vibration of love to you. Good times, good fortune. Do you want me to shuffle spirit? Yes, they said shuffle. I was like, I felt like we, I needed to pause and just, now we're going to, oh, oh, what's going on here? I'm seeing a lot of heart activation, a lot of love, a lot of magical sea creatures showing up, Libra. Now we have the narwhal, which is kindling a sense of lightness of being. This is your recent past energy, riding the wave, feeling lighter and lighter as you go, steady as you go, lightening the load. All right, tapping into your inner self. What do these two people have in common? Authenticity. And it's also the authentic heart. When you are tuned in and tapped into your heart frequency, everything lightens. There's something around your introspection in this deck is the queen. Some sort of self-mastery going on here in your heart space, Libra. All right, gosh, I wonder if there's going to be more hearts coming out. I feel like they want me to keep shuffling. All right, let's go with the current energy. Current energy, Libra, coming into that heart chakra, pre-Libra season, solar return time. Oh, all right, these three want to come out for the current energy. I'm going to take it. We have your community, the hive mind buzzing. Ooh, the tower and the seven of somatics. You know, this came out, this, this sheep, right? What resources are you calling on? What seeds have you planted? that are now coming to fruition, that are sprouting. This is about going step by step and being rewarded along the way with perhaps, you know, when we have the goldfinch, look how playful they are. It's almost like there's some sort of currently, there's this awakening around celebrating your community, celebrating seeds that you planted, celebrating the, the, the self-mastery and the steps that you've been taking. Three of feeling is, Again, it's like you have this, this, mm, I feel like right now you have the opportunity to recognize the bonds around you that are lifting you higher, okay? Lifting you into this spirit of appreciation, right? being surrounded by a community. And it could be the collective community, right, of fellow light workers. It could be your actual world the people you work with, the friends, I will tell you one thing that I've really noticed lately, I've had such a transformation in my friendship, friendship circle around deepening the bonds of the people that I hold dear that have been in my life for at least a decade. There's something that's like some sort of like transformational upgrade going on in your friend zones, right? This feels secondary to this incoming energy of the Knight of Cups, but you might even want to be celebrating this current energy. It's a, it's a celebration and appreciation for the people that have supported you on your path. They make you feel less alone. You might have a new friend coming in as well for some of you or opportunity to be in, in new community or deepening of community. Alongside the goldfinch, we have the, the crow. And whenever we see crow, it portends of um, major changes.
there's some sort of plot twist going on. It could be around a friendship that there's some uncertainty around it. It could even be a friend that you maybe see could be beyond a friendship with this Knight of Cups. This is interesting. I'm getting lots of different messages here, but just know that whatever, whatever seeds you have planted, you have everything that you need to, for, to support you in the transformation that you're going through. It's like there's some sort of, God, this feels kind of hard for me to reach. There's some sort of shifting landscape in your friendship sector or a friend in your life that is, there's something you're learning here. It might be a friend label, but there's something deeper there. I don't know what this is about. We're going to deepen it into the different layers. We're going to go into clarifying these with tarot and oracle. Let's keep going. You could have a new friend in your life or just old friends that are really just Good times, good times, good fortune, coming together, celebrating. I mean, this is the opportunity for you to celebrate your life, but there's some sort of shocking twist coming in. Four of thoughts. Look at that little Bambi, little deer. Mm. You know, what you don't see coming is that it's almost like if you've been hyper vigilant or if you felt like you've been alone on your path, there's something majorly shifting in your heart space. It's like something is just softening. It's about resting. It's about inner peace. It's about our connection with nature to soothe you. There's a lot of soothing coming in. The deer is, is also this, for me, it's always been about, I remember Bambi as a kid, innocence. The purity of innocence on our journey, no matter what we've gone through, there's something blasting your heart open the second half of September. I felt it coming in for the September reading. I think you've got new friends coming in, new allies that are, that are heart-centered. Or you have someone who's a friend who could potentially be a romantic interest for you with this Knight of Cups. Let's go deeper. I want to clarify now why these energies are here. Let's go into this Knight of Cups, this experience of feeling, riding the dolphin. Follow your heart, Libra. I don't think it's going to lead you astray. It's something that's, that's, that's making you open up your heart right now. What is this? Why is the Knight of Cups here for Libra? Leading with love. Came up a lot in the weekly message. Vortex of change. Engage with the vortex of change where energies swirl and transformative dances molding anew. Look at that. He's riding. There's movement. There's a lot of, I feel like there's new energies coming into your life, Libra. Whether you're single or not, this is like feeling loved, appreciated, adored, seen, heard, valued. This is love of self as well. Well, you're going through a major change. Ooh, these three wanted to come out. New Worlds, Spirit Link, and Rising Flames. This one came out for the week, okay? The first one that came in, Spirit Link. Stay aligned with your highest dreams and ideals to find success. Yep, this is riding the higher timeline, which we've been talking about, Libra. Y'all have been stepping into the highest timeline. It's a magnetic pull, and you're doing it through the heart, and it's opening up new worlds, there are many more things for you to discover, so don't give up. You've got new worlds opening up. This energy came in recently. This is recent past energy. Let your passion guide you to the fulfilling purpose meant for you. This is stepping into your... your ooh, this feels like deeper than your transformation and healing and more like unlocking the codes to the highest timeline. I feel like there's some shocking truths that are come out, coming out for the next two weeks. I feel like you might have be pulling in friendships that could, could, could have some sort of like deeper, deeper, higher timeline of love here for you. I mean, this could be a shocking uh, revelation that one of your friends that you've known has feelings for you. Could be that as well. And it's bringing out all these changes. 
I feel like some people, this is a brand new person that you have not met yet. Others, it could be someone that you've recently met or, or others of you, it's someone you've known a while where you're like, what? Because you're both aligning on a new frequency. And you've already laid the foundation of friendship. Others of you, there's just this shocking like vibration and current of like just support and love. But I do feel like some of you have got new people you're working with. And you're loving their enthusiasm. It's like it's breathing new life into your path. That's the current energy. Divine flow. Let go of attachment to the outcome and let the universe bring gifts. Yeah, you know what? This is beautiful, Libra. I mean, this is gonna this is gonna speak to all of you on different levels, but it's all very positive. Good times, good fortune, being in the flow, celebrating, right? With that goldfinch in it. It's like this little lighthearted, like you could be fluttering from experience to experience and just appreciating the connections that you have. But there's some sort of shocking change in, in seeds that you have planted. I mean, sometimes when I see the seven pinnacles, it's a reunion. You could be reuniting with someone from your past. All right, now let's go into this what you don't see coming energy, which is beautiful, innocent purity in your healing. Taking a rest. It's like, well, I want to rest in this energy. This feels good. I feel like you're just going to be feeling really nice. Inner vision. Cut through the fog of confusion with power of discernment. All right, there's some sort of discernment that you're going to need to do, and you're going to need to take a time out to really gather and collect your thoughts. This dear medicine is about recognizing your own inner peace and your need to connect to nature to, to discern. It's funny. It's like you're, you're, you're seeing with your eyes shut and your eyes open. I want to get one more on this four swords, this inner vision, quiet moments, quiet moments, seek solace in the silence where clarity finds its true voice. Yeah, I think that as much as you might be surrounded by activity, flurries of activity, celebrations, parties, um, get-togethers, gatherings, new work experiences, there's something around this like buoyant, lighter vibration that you're in. And it's almost going to feel like, wow, I, I, this feels good. But it, you're going to need to kind of counteract the high with you grounding in your quiet reflection, you know, your silent reveries, if you will. Wow, you're going through a deep, deep. There, there, when we step on higher timelines, y'all, it takes a little while to integrate with that energy. It could be a lot for your body to hold. So you could be feeling its impact on your body. So for those of you who've been going through some challenges with your health, Make sure you ten, tend to that because it's just you shedding the old layers and your body needing to integrate those higher energies. All right, now let's clarify. I want to find out a little bit more about this vortex of change, this Knight of Cups. It feels like someone coming towards you or a change in, yeah, another tower. Emotional reciprocity. You've got someone coming in that wants to really give to you equally. Someone who's aligned with you. It could, it's romantic or platonic. Take it as it resonates. It's like you've aligned with the highest timeline. Now let the people come in. Allow the people to come in. The people that you're meant to work with and people that you're meant to flow with. In life and in love. Your soul tribe. King of pentacles. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Who is this King of Pentacles? Boy, they really want to communicate with you. Earthbound energy. We're in Virgo season. There's a lot. There's some new opportunities. This could be um, in the world of business. You could have someone who wants to collaborate with you. It's going to make you feel pretty high. Whatever this is, love or not. Career, love. It's good fortune, good karma, good times. You've persevered, Libra. Oh, this is fast. I feel like this is going to be a shocking change. This is fast. I mean, this is double fast. I think you have someone coming in. We have two knights. We have the knight of swords and the knight of cups with the eight of wands, with the king of pentacles and a vortex of change. I think you have someone coming in. 
that's swooping in, that's unexpected. This is not a past person. It's either someone coming in and they're like, I want to work with you. All right. <laughs> I want to work with you, Libra. I'm getting that. Someone who's like, I really want to collaborate with you. I see greatness in you. Okay. I hold the same vision for the future. I want to collaborate. Or this could be someone, I really want to build something with you, Libra. I really, something long-term. But you might just, I think you might be suddenly surprised by this because it's fast. Okay. You might be like, slow your roll. Whoever this is, you need to assess, right? Discernment, which you have and what you don't see coming. Take those quiet moments to make sure this is aligned, all right? Whew, whatever this is, it feels like it's going to make your heart go a flutter. This, this one's poking out. Yeah, you're on a new journey. You're about to go on a brand new pathway here. I'm telling you, because you've shed so much. I feel like this is where you don't even realize it. I, some of you don't even realize this is where you've been heading all along. You let go, you let go, you let great goddess guide you. Something is shocking here. You're in the flow, Libra. Let's look at this queen of cups in the past with the, this, the new world, spirit link and rising flames, the hermit. You changed your navigation system. You did. You upgraded that shit. I'm telling you, upgrade software. Boop. You did. You upgraded to... I mean, some of you are walking straight into 4D operation here. And I've been learning about that because it's really happening. I identify so strongly with the Libra Collective because I've been surrounded by Libras my whole life and being one of them. I understand what it's like. If you have to go deeply within to understand what is my purpose in this world? Why am I here? What am I meant to do? And the more you go deeper into your own spiritual journey of awakening, the more it becomes clear to you that really it's about being guided by your own heart and, and removing all the barriers that keep you from living from that place, which is the mind, the ego, the shadow, right? The, the limited beliefs around putting your power in other people. Wow. I want to get more on this hermit. What else is this hermit saying? Self-love, self-love, love and action. Queen of Swords, there you are, Libra. Mm -hmm. What did it teach you? Wisdom, truth, discernment. You've learned discernment. You have learned discernment that wants to come out. The lover, especially when it comes to romance. Discernment. Is this my truth? Is this in alignment with me? Is this what I choose? You decided, I think, in the recent past to choose you. And... Libra, there's something really, really magical going on here. I can't even put my finger on it. I feel like there's either, all right, I'm going to be honest. Either you're single and you're waiting for that one, okay, to come in and you're like, whenever it happens, it happens, right? Others of you already are with who you perceive to be that one and you are, are like going to like these deeper, deeper emotional connectivity places within the two of you. And it's like blowing your mind. Okay. And others of you who are still in that war, right. In some sort of trauma bond. I think for a lot of people who are tuning in, you're like, I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. That's not who I am anymore. I'm closing the door on that. People who are operating from 4D perspective that are operating from a higher timeline of love and light. It's not just like, oh, you can't touch me. It's I make a choice. I'm in control. I have the power over my own path. Okay. It's not giving your power to other people, so to speak. So in the past, you started to draw healthy boundaries around the things you chose to love and let in. And now you're being so deeply guided by your own inner being. That's true discernment, but you're doing it with love. You might've had to say goodbye to people out of, Hey, out of love. This does not, this is not in alignment with me. Okay. So, and that's the shedding, right? The people, places, and things that don't belong in your high timeline. 
I'm telling you, I feel like there's there's some sort of expansion going on, Libra. This happened didn't start happening in the past, but it was inward expansion, lightning. By staying aligned with your highest dreams and ideals. Once you do that, you're not playing small. And then you and then you say, I'm open to receive. I'm not going to stay attached to the outcome because I know what's meant for me will come. But there's something that's like the seeds were planted. There's some sort, there's, I'm telling you, I feel like a lot of people are calling in the one during Libra season. And this is just the beginning. Yeah. And this is why when we have the five of wands and the six of swords, it's like, Stop fighting against the flow of what wants to come in. Leave behind all of those judgments, all of those preconceived notions. They want me to pull one more. Yeah, especially around your work and collaborations. I feel like you've, some of you have been struggling a bit with moving on and letting go and dropping your guard around working with other people. Two threes. Whenever I see this energy, it's a matter of, coming together with like-minded individuals, staying in divine flow as you move toward this brand new mountain together. You can look at it as, oh, this is going to be hard or this is going to be easy. There's going to be challenges along the way. There always are, okay? These challenges, they bring clarity. There's some sort of clarity coming in around the karmic reward following the step-by-step -step process some of you are really dream building in your careers and some of you are really dream building too in your love lives and deepening, calling for divine connection in all realms with others. This feels like the heart of the reading right here. They keep pointing to it. Letting go. Only take what you can carry, right? If you can't carry 10 other people up that mountain, don't bring them, okay? Okay. It's like, we don't need to be carrying other people this time in our journeys, people, okay? That's not part of the journey anymore. It's not your responsibility. Codepe codependency, be gone. People-pleasing, be gone. You've had, you had to, you've had to contend with the parts of yourself that would peace at all costs, but then sacrificing self. Well, I've got to work with these people. I have no choice. Or, you know what? I've got to have this friend in my life. I've got, I've got no choice, you know? You're, you've realized in the current energy, when you step into flow... Things just naturally work themselves out of, your, out of your life or out of your system. And the right people come in. You don't need to fight against the current, in other words. I hope I'm making sense. This is all current energy swirling around you right now, Libra. You've learned boundary making, unlocking your clarity and intuition by helping you. So it's like not only did you put up boundaries, now you know how to reinforce them and you know how to stay in your lane and who you're going to allow with to allow in you're like only the people that are in flow with me i feel like you've got a change up going on in some people in your life either old workers other other co-workers or bosses it's like there's a change up in your career some of you it's it's hitting your career sector it depends on where this eclipse is hitting. I heard it was, where is Pisces showing up in your birth chart? What house? For me, it's more internal. It's actually in my fourth house, which is around my father and around that structure, that divine masculine, and where I'm putting energy out in the world in my career. And so, and I could be wrong about the all. I'm not an astrologer, but you might want to take a look at that this week because I'm, I'm being reminded of, of that little kernel that came through and my own understanding of this eclipse season. Astro Bella told me that on Instagram last night. So where is it that you are, your Pisces placement is in your chart? If you've had your chart done or put in your chart, you can get a free astral report. Where is Pisces showing up? That's where this eclipse is hitting. So that's why this is kind of like energy. Is it, is it around your divine masculine energy and what you came to create, okay, with others and some big changes there? going on in your work life? Or is this around letting go of your attachment to people that aren't serving your higher timeline when it comes to feeling loved and appreciated and respected and nurtured? 
there's been some, there's some major changes going on here for you. But I do believe that it has a lot to do with you grounding in your energy and staying on this higher timeline. There we have justice. <laughs> what you don't see coming. Good old Isis. Hello, my dear. Number 11, that inner vision, the healing, the balancing. Some of you are coming into beautiful divine flow between your work and your career and love. Ten of Wands, don't give up, Libra. Don't give up on everything that you have learned. Keep moving forward. This is about your inner confidence. So what you don't see coming here, clarifying that four swords healing, the underpinning of your healing journey is around all the new growth, right? You're taking it with you as you move forward. You've got karmic justice. It's almost like you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. You planted seeds of positivity, love, unity, integrity in the past. Well, look what you got here. You got some amazing things coming in, Libra. Good times, good fortune. And I know all of us watching this, you've been acting out of integrity. You've been staying in the light. You've been honoring your own divine wisdom. You've been honoring love. I think that you already know. No matter what, you need to trust that you've healed enough at this point to stay empowered on your journey and to stay in balance always. I know it's hard. It's like, it's hard to stay in balance. It's hard to move through life and feel like we got everything together. All right. There's something about the interplay between everything you're building out in the world and everything you're building on your interior domain. And the two are actually supporting one another. The more you work on your interior landscape, the more it's giving you the energy to go out there. The more you go out there, the more energy it's giving you. It's like twofold. It's like this yin and yang, but it's like this feedback system. It's like this biofeedback system. This, a lot of this has to down with, comes down, boils down to your community and the players in that community and who you've signed up for and your divine connections to take this next journey with. Because you are going on a journey. Pack your bags, Libra. And it looks like an amazing, amazing new beginning for you. Let's get some advice from Spirit. Which deck I want to do this one? Sorry, I've got, got them up here. So many majors. So I feel like Libra season, you're marching right in. Yeah, a lot of you. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Where's the King of Wands? Where did that, where did the King of Wands go? Hello, King of Wands left the building. We talked about King of Wands all year long. This is someone that you're like, that is old. That is done. And not buried, okay, anymore. You've unlocked the code of your own wounding and your own healing and why it ever happened to begin with. That's all we'll say about the King of Wands. I'm not surprised the King of Wands wanted to... It's like that King of Wands has still maybe got their eye on you. They're very disappointed in how they handled the situation. It's their own karma. It's something they got to learn. It's not up to you anymore, Libra. You've done... You, you did what you needed to do. You've paid your dues, okay? That's all I'll say about that, okay? Let them sit in their own disappointment for whatever they did or didn't do. Because when you don't decide, that's a decision. There's something around somebody from your past to really... They made a poor judgment call, but that's not your problem anymore, okay? I'm telling you, you've, you've, you've done the, you've gone inward and now you're in a lighter frequency and you, no more, no more of that, okay? No more codependency. I feel like Libras are definitely stepping up out of that timeline. Like, it feels like for good. You're like putting a stamp on that. No more. Let's get some advice. Two of Pentacles. If this King of Wands comes out. <laughs> All right. Oh, you don't need to. What are you stressing about, Libra? You got two of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. The King of Swords. Interesting. Okay. I want to get one more. Some of you have got yourselves a little conundrum. Some of you are trying to decide between two people. That's, that's a side note. We have another three of cups. Sometimes that does indicate some sort of third party situation that has stressed you out or a desire to maybe take a friendship to a different level. We have another card of the three of cups here. This is your advice. So, which is in your current energy around who do you want to work with? And spirit is saying anyone who puts you up in your head 
They got to go. This is the integration of your divine feminine and your divine masculine because you can hold a boundary inside, but you got to display it out in the world, the real world, right? Where we have to use discernment. So you could be deciding, you know, do I want this person in my life? Do I want to keep communicating with these people, right? Literally, you could be making major decisions about who stays and who goes in your life during the rest of this month. Is this person in alignment with me? Anyone who is, I'm telling you, spirit is saying, and this, this could have to do a lot with your friendships or around a love interest, okay? Take it as it resonates. But anyone that makes you feel topsy-turvy, that makes you feel stressed, I'm going to put my glasses on so this stays, this is the card of indecision. Indecision breeds analysis, paralysis, and stress and anxiety. Be careful if you have someone that you have allowed in your life as a friend that makes you feel like you're going through waves of uncertainty, okay? You're wise at this point in your life and you know what's healthy for you and what isn't. Some of you, it is a third party situation, whether it's on your side or this other person's side and you're like, I can't do this. But for the most part, it feels like don't allow any energies in that stress you, that make you feel like you're going through some sort of turbulence, whether it's work people that are aligned with you in your path. I'm telling you, it is not easy to cut away people from your life that don't serve you. And this is the eclipse season where these faded endings have to go. They have got to go. If there's anyone in your life that is causing you grief, stress, doubt, uncertainty, Spirit is saying boundaries. Because I'm telling you what, I feel like you got new coming in. For those of you who are single, hold on. Wait for it. There's a vortex of change going on. This King of Pentacles, I'm telling you, you want someone who's in it to win it, who wants to build, right? I feel like this is showing up as you and your masculine energy around your discernment and around your boundaries. Don't stress about having to say no to somebody, Libra, okay? If it doesn't feel right, that's what that advice feels like. We're going to have to do it time and time again on our paths, y'all. Flow. What do we talk about? Being in the flow. Energy. Fire spirit. Energy flow. Let's see. I'm going to read. I'm going to read both of these, but just the, uh, the bottom part. The spirit of fire says incredible vitality, life force, energy, and passion are expanding in your life. What I say with that knight of cups, if you start to feel drained by the expectations of others, don't hold back, don't hold back, ignite your inner fire, speak your truth, which you are doing by the integration. This is speaking your truth energy. Okay. Even when it's hard, even when it's hard, especially when it's hard, y'all speak your truth. Let the light of the creator search through you. That's the energy, okay? The power of fire spirit is renowned, one of the four prime elements. It is traditionally represents it traditionally represents creativity, enthusiasm, transformation, passion, zeal, and activation. Fire is synonymous with creation itself. Let the energy of fire inspire action and movement for you now. Like I said, there's there's some sort of vortex of change going on in the Libra Collective. And you're now in flow. You're tapping in. Number 24, pathway of six. It's about your connections. Meandering pathway. Tony <laughs> twists and turns. Everything falls into place when you don't resist the flow of the meandering pathway of life. Allow the path to take you where you need to go. Don't hurry it or resist it. Simply let go, surrender, and enjoy the journey. You don't have to have all the answers to succeed. You don't need to know what tomorrow holds to have ast an astounding future. Simply, sorry. Simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You'll get to exactly where you need to be for your highest good. Yeah, some of you, it's like, well, if I'm not like, when I say drop into your own feeling of control, it's about your own empowerment. Because if we start making choices that disempower us, you feel like you're not really in control of your own life. Spirit is saying when you step into that flow, it's really easy. It feels like that's what you're doing. You're stepping into the flow, into the current. 
this felt like a really intense reading today. Like there's a lot of good coming in Libra, but there's a lot you're still shedding. So you could feel like you're in this paradoxical energy around releasing and cleansing and purifying out of the old vibration and stepping into the new higher vibration. And it's a process like this doesn't, you could be feel like you've been in this energy for months or weeks and it's intensifying. It's like the heat is being turned up on the collective right now. Like, are you really ready to let go? Are you sure? You might even have that King of Wands coming back and reminding you of what needed to end, okay? Because that wanted to poke out. I feel like it's secondary because I think as much as this person has come in and out of your life, you're like, uh-uh, no more. And even if they come back, it's not really hitting you the same because you have now integrated the boundary. And I think a lot of you are waiting on the Cupid's arrows of somebody new, all right? Some sort of changes that's coming in. I feel like we're going to see more of this King of Pentacles in the October readings, all right? For a lot of you who are waiting on new love, it is coming in. You're going to know it when it comes in because you're not going to doubt it. And anything you're doubting right now, especially if you've got people maybe you're dating and it's like you're not sure, that's the answer right there, okay? But it seems like you've got some new players coming in 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 your scope of your life okay we're talking about your forward momentum right people are going to help propel you to the next phase i hope you enjoyed this reading it was a lot